Well, hello, it is me, Josh, and Cam here once again. It's saying about. Yeah, well, I just know see one now. If you've seen David Lance's uh, YouTube video recently, like over 50 minutes ago, if not over minutes ago, yeah, they talk about the bar still sports in the end of the same NASCAR for ratings. He also mentioned about the Olympics to drop the NASCAR ratings by control 18. But let's say right now, it did not. Yeah, the Cold Wars ended at this point and the cars at the end of drop ratings. But, yeah, since uh, since 2004, they raised a little bit again. But it was, it's, like, it's like a rise and fall and rise again type effect. Since the Cold War ended, they, fe they fell not only once but twice. They fell again because of Barcelona, but they had back Atlanta to raise again. It keep on raising until f it had into 2000, which they should never show a lot. They brought the raise again at the, after 2004 Olympics. And holy God, they had the Beijing. He was so popular, they became, so, became the most popular TV event at the time. It is in the... If they fell again, had towards London, but they just, they, they never fell much. If they had London, they came back slowly. But right now, they're still rising. The Winter Games is a huge favorite. It's back in Soldier 2014. It's so, in the so good, it did the bump ratings from, from 2006 to win. It did this one, more higher than big. Vancouver head to a Sochi 2014. Yep, this also tells another reason why it does not think those so good. The people that in the same right now, did Pian Pian Chang or uh, Pian Chang try to say did drop NASCAR ratings? And the answer is no, because yeah, the Olympics his thing went up since Sochi. The range is so high that they just want to increase more. I think, I think Pian Chang's a little bit because of how special United Korea is in the, in the famous comeback. And even a Tonga man from Rio de Janeiro, which broke records at this point. And even right on top of that, right on top of that, even, even special cauldron lighting that I think is. At this point, might be the result of the f f some sort of United Korea did not d d drop n in a lot of big ratings. But in NASCAR, NASCAR, I think the reason that NASCAR dropped ratings at this point is a lack of membership at this point, as well as NBC. At this point, and this is like we all are left off, and I think if David Lance at this point, he did not say. Or they just cut from the, from his clips of some sort. The Olympics did not result in the NASCAR's failure in ratings of 2018. The reason is, I think it's because of the major slip-offs with Daryl Waltrip. It, didn't end up, it might be the cause of this, uh, some sort. By mistake, an accident, or uh, some sort. Daryl Waltrip, it looks like a little bit slipping in, in 2018, State Top 500. Under red flag, they got some calm at, the, at this point. And they all watch it, but they learn from his mistakes. Normally once but twice at this point. Yeah, so. So the Olympics did not drop NASCAR ratings. I kind of believe it's Dale Waltrip in the end. Uh, Miss up is inside his wording at this point, most of the 500 last year. At this point. Also. Yeah, that the 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 two twenty eighteen the D twelve hundred rise a little bit thanks to Austin Dillon's finish of the D twelve five hundred became the end of the first time in three car since nineteen ninety eight they ever won the D twelve five hundred which the both rating ratings in NASCAR victory lane after the whole entire show is over with the boost so much. In a, in at this point, the Olympics to the end will lose like almost one fourth of their ratings because of that. So yeah, so I think the Olympics did not 
to drop Nascar ratings down. And I think it might be because of Dale Waltrip might be slipping. And slipping is of the, of the viewer and broadcast. And on top of that, I think uh, Mike Joy, which is a netter commentator at this point, which is in the host of the NASCAR at this event, of some sort, might be came a little bit of boys' side underneath a red flag. There's more red flags, so it's automatically got boring, which is the cause of drop of ratings. But on top of that, you literally have drivers like uh, drivers are gonna is gonna retire later on, might be attributed to this as well. It's at this point. So that means, yeah, so, right on top of that, there's gonna be a 50% chance to the end of making the causes, or not, is it some sort. To have found out in the, in the one-way direction, or two-way direction, let's say right now, the end of say, the end of say all people. Yep. Yeah, I feel because of NBC's support to the of NASCAR of some sort also causing this as well. This is really a little bit far fetched in some sort. Or secretly at the end of the NASCAR and Fox is in the leaving sponsorship. If they really want to extend it, but they will not pay as much, also tribute as that as well. Also right on top of that, this could be I feel they're trying to fire off against NBC sports. Because NBC Sports did a lot better than last year than Fox did. So I think is Fox really slipping? The answer is yes. Because they've been slipping since I think in 2012, the Daytona 500. And they've been slipping ever since. And this is like NBC caught on board. Yeah, they've been slipping in some sort. Like Jimmy Johnson. I think it's Jimmy, I think Jimmy Johnson, like NASCAR and Fox. Is slipping, so that means this might be attributed to H of the Nasco uh, Fox Company that was sponsored that you know for so many years when the cause of the cause of slip. So, in some sort, it's in way it is. Nasco and Fox's history starts way back in the CBS, in the end, they had to channel by take over it, which is Fox because they're not CBS lost their sponsorship. And they put in the Fox in 2001. The main reason that the Fox got so popular is the 2001 death at their own heart. And they've been rising ever since. The, the one thing is that start their downfall is that they have a return in the rivalship is ESPN. Now let's go with ESPN. It might be a huge rivalship with, MB, with Fox during NBC's press on the TNT. TNT would have been hosting NASCAR until like until late 2015, 2016. Tribute to their figure, the, the huge wonderfulness. So this is, then they raised TNT's ratings a little bit to bring NBC back. And when since NBC come back, at this point, then NBC's gave way more ratings than ESPN did. It was like the, almost the same. Number of ratings is like CBS as it was back then they're in the cause of this in this mess. Fox and the drop ratings is I think since 2007. At this point since it got over ESPN. There's a rivalship after ESPN ended. A massive record low at ratings. Dropped by NASCAR and Fox at this point. Is some sort it caused a lot of viewerships to go down. At this point. And ever since, they never get back as good as the way it was back then. Of some sort. It's the way it is. So the Olympics just did not have tribute to the ratings of the Fox and the Fox Sports itself that lose some part of auto racing. Even tribute and NASCAR is the main playing factor. So at this point, instead, Fox is like slipping. So you might put the chance to see CBS come back in the future, which on this might be unknown. At this point. Also, NBC is starting to slip a little bit, little peaks, but that might be unlikely. Well, for right now, they do not think they've been slipping the head since Rio de Janeiro, but they always say that when they slip in some sort, they rise again. This could be time Olympics and they end up slipping as well. 
the tribute and that's called it's gonna flip the only NBC but Olympics gonna go to Fox and CBS in the future yep because of the rise of evil cup in the uh, happened in the same year on Fox I think people in the end, end up on Fox is more popular than FIFA World Cup coming than NASCAR. There's also trivia a part of this as well. And so this is why the reason why 2018 NASCAR version of Detroit 500 is also sipping as well. Because of the FIFA World Cup coming up in 2018 and Russia. So that trivia, the tons of ratings come up, rising up. And the reason is over, overmatched NASCAR's ratings by almost 75% so this causes cause a tribute drop of ratings for and the NASCAR and Fox series some sort of percent because of FIFA also might also tribute to Lupix and NBC losing their ratings so far because of this mess at this point so the question is 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 the Lupix gonna move to Fox in the future with the CBS I would say yes, but it only happens after 2030. Sadly, maybe because of then you have the NBC's long time learn to package in NBC Sports until after 2030, which it sounds pretty disappointing that they end up paying you ahead and then seeing this annoying. Which is still going on again, but this is real progress going on. Within the NBC Sports and Fox Studios, is this yet to decide that Olympics has been moved at this point or forced to cancel M NBC Sports and Tribute Olympics to move to Fox earlier because of the every the ratings and every losing Olympics ever since. The past Olympics is Olympics are the f first return of NBC since Seoul. Seoul goes in every the huge amount of popularity at this point. They drop not only once but twice. One to Barcelona, but they return once again to really high in Atlanta for the centennial Olympic Games. My even the even the commercial break things at the end are so good, like a John song's very good, but John Bion's Summit of the Heroes theme song comes on and it comes with so many popular ships. It slipped again in Sydney, but we turned it to Sun 4 because of the rebirth Olympics and how good it was because of the tribute of Michael Phillips. And they've been slipping ever since after the retirement of Michael Phillips. In this point, so after Michael Phillips retired after Rio, they start to slip it. And he looks like they're not going to recover ever since the end of the slipping downfall. In this point, so it might be like the Olympics has moved to Fox in the future, like FIFA. And the Lip and NASCAR is going to move the NBC for good. Because they see what happened to IndyCar. And Isma, so that's what's gonna be the next one in line. So for sure. But anyway, so yeah, so this is the way it is, it looks like. For all times, in all times likely. So that means the Olympics did not suffer the end of Nascos losing ratings. Instead, the FIFA World Cup has my might be the playing the role of this. And I do apologize at the end of David Lance being mistaken for his words, but the end of my life just follow my words is it not true. Well, that is it for the end of my talk. Thanks to David Lance at the end of there's a sponsorship of the, of the part of the, the video I was looking for. And otherwise, so, anyways, see you in the next video. And I, I am Joshua K. Herman, and it is me. And saying beep beep beep. Oh yeah, P.S. Also, this is also carryover of the other video. In the earlier, in the, in the, at this point, when the Olympics are gonna be moved to Fox and C CBS in the future, yeah, this game is likely gonna be moved. So, if they want to the end of the in more detail for that. Yeah, I might see this in a future video if it's not cancelled. So, about let you know if this happens or not. We'll see you guys in otherwise in the M1 house and around all the YouTube next time.